Hey everybody out there in Cooking Time with Mighty Dubs Land. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I'm glad to be back for an episode. Uh, we're gonna make a fall beef stew. First step is ingredients. Look at all that stuff. I'm even gonna chop my own vegetables today. Ugh. Anyway, step one, ingredients. It looks delicious on it. Cooking Time with Mighty Dubs step two. In our pan, we're gonna heat up some oil here, and we're gonna add our meat. One, two, turn that around a little bit. All right. All right, we're gonna cook that down so it's brown on all sides. And then, as we go, we're gonna season with some. Salt and some pepper, and we're gonna stir it up. Let that brown on all sides. Cooking towel, Mikey Dub. Step three. So I removed my meat, and I'm gonna keep the juices in that pan and add my celery, add my carrots, add my potatoes. And my onion, and I'm gonna add just for fun some mushrooms. There we go. And we're gonna stir that all in that pot for about five minutes. I'm gonna add some garlic to this as well, and some salt and pepper. We're gonna cook that for about five minutes or until it gets a little bit of color. And we make sure we leave all the juices from the beef in there so they get the, all that good flavor. Mmm. Cooking time with Mikey Dub Step. Four, yeah, sure, four. So, now, since it's a stew and not a soup, we need some thickening stuff, so we're gonna add some flour to this. This is a half cup, but I'm not gonna use this whole thing. Throw that in there, make a little bit of a mess. We're gonna clean it up anyway, so. And then we stir that until all that flour is dissolved into the into the vegetables. Cooking time with Mikey Dub step five. So, we got the flour out of there. I'm gonna add some red wine. Tenderize everything up. I'm gonna let that reduce for about a minute. Swing that around, yeah. Oh yeah, it smells delicious already. I haven't even done anything yet. Cooking time with Mikey Dub step six. So I added some tomato paste. And now I'm gonna add some beef broth, or stock rather. Look at that. And then we're gonna Cook that all together. I'm gonna add some herbs, some garlic powder, some onion powder, some thyme, some bay leaves. I'm gonna let that cook for a little bit. Cooking time with Mikey Dub step. Oh god, I can't remember. It doesn't matter. So once that stew came up to a boil, I added my meat back in. Look at that. That's already looks good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on low and let it cook for about two hours. I know what you're thinking, Mike. You're thinking, Mikey, two hours? Who's got time for that? Well, if you want a good beef stew, you gotta let it cook for at least two hours. So we're gonna cook it on for two hours. We're gonna check it every so often, stir it up, check it in for taste, and then we'll come back and hopefully we'll be done, ready to go to eat. Cooking time with Mikey Dubs. It's essentially all done. It's been on for a couple hours, but I'm gonna show it to you. Take a look. Look at that. Nice and thick. Nice and thick stew. We got the meat, we got potatoes, carrots, celery, all the vegetables. It's been on for a couple hours. I wish you guys could smell this right now. It smells so good. So, I'm gonna give this a taste here. Wow. Oh. Oh my god, the flavor in that is unbelievable. You guys are probably asking yourself why I made so much. Uh, it's a big Dutch oven, so I want to use it. Uh, but I'm also going to feed my roommate with it. And I'm going to put it in jars and eat it during the week and freeze a, cup, a little bit of it. So that's your fall delicious beef stew. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thank you.